Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday so we are talking Turner Syndrome. And I am wearing my Turner Syndrome sweatshirt that I got. If you didn't see me open it yesterday, go click the video and watch it. It was very fun. I'm very excited and in love with this so yeah. Today I have a very exciting video because it is Turner Syndrome Awareness Month officially starting today and I think I want to do like kind of a, a mini series within that about research and awareness and some of those really important topics that always kind of comes up when it's Turner Syndrome Awareness Month because that's what we're focusing on that's what we're pushing for we really want more research more awareness more resources and I think this is an important and perfect opportunity to take to talk about those things. So February is Turner Syndrome Awareness Month and today is February 1st and I have not seen a theme for this year as far as the TSUS website or their Facebook page or anything. So I don't have a theme to go off of from them. I know last year's was A Healthy Heart Matters and that brought up the very important conversation about heart health and screenings and getting your checks when you need to and just being on top of making sure your heart is healthy. That is a major aspect of care for a girl with Turner syndrome is making sure her heart is healthy and that was what last year focused on and it was super fun getting to have more detailed conversation about that. This year I think I want to focus on even though there's not a push for any particular theme so far that I've seen on the TSA sites I really want to focus on awareness and research. Specifically, I want to learn more about research. I have not read a ton of the research. I do glance over the care guidelines. They do release a care guidelines fresh every January and I will link this year's in the comments below because there is a new one for this year. And it is always updated with the most current research. What is most known to be helpful and important for patients with Turner's. So I will link those and that is a very important aspect of it is knowing the care guidelines and helping those around you be aware of the care guidelines. I think that it is important even if you have a doctor that maybe has other Turner's patients or things like that, giving them either a link to the care guidelines or printing it out and handing them a copy, just giving them the resources that they're out there that they may not know about to focus on it, to understand and have a little more awareness of what is important in a patient with Turner's. As I've talked about several times on my channel, not all doctors have a huge experience with this some of them have only ever read about it in a textbook. And that's not that that's gonna be every doctor you run across, of course. There are going to be doctors that are very well versed in it, that have had a handful of patients with it and just really have experience with it. And then there are gonna be doctors that have never actually had a patient with it and have only ever learned about it in the textbook in medical school. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but it is so nuanced that the care guidelines can really help focus what they learned in medical school. So just an understanding of Turner's in general does not necessarily give you the experience of what to look for in a real life patient with it. It can manifest itself in so many different ways. It can affect so many different things and it is super important that we make ourselves aware of that and that we are giving that to the people that are caring for us and that we are looking to for help and understanding and you know mixing those two things together it can be a beautiful marriage that's perfect for taking care of you as a patient so I would not shy away from reading it. I would not shy away from bringing things to your doctor that it makes you concerned about or that you have more questions on. Absolutely, make sure you're asking the questions that you have 
And if they don't have those answers, be willing to push and ask for the opportunity to speak with someone who might, who might know a little bit more or a way of getting a closer answer. You're not going to always get an exact answer. This is not an exact science in any way, especially patient to patient. It can look so, so different, but it is important to still be aware of the things that you want to pay attention to. And I know that might sound rudimentary. If you've never encountered cases of Turner syndrome, you may not know just how diverse they are and all of the different ways it can manifest. And I know even just in only ever meeting that one person, that one girl in person, I had no idea until seeing more stories online and talking to more girls just how different it really is. And that just becomes so important for all of this. So there are new care guidelines. And I think that is an important way to start the awareness month is making sure everybody knows there is a new set of care guidelines for this year. And I will link them down below. Make sure you see them and bring any questions or concerns you have to your doctor. That's what they're there for. They're there to support you and give you any care that they can, and that is an important part of it. So do not be afraid to ask questions. Do not be afraid to bring it to them and say, hey, what do you think about this? What do you know about this? Start having those conversations because the more that happens, the more you can get honed in on what you need most and what will most help you. Whew, that felt like a lot. <laughs> so that's how I wanna start this month. Make sure you read the new care guidelines and are aware of it and kind of ruminate on it. See what you think. Just digest it a little bit and see what it brings up. If it brings up nothing, if, if that's all stuff you know, that's great. And if not, you learned a little something. So it's good either way. And I think, I think this is something we could all encourage each other to do more and just grow our understanding of it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you've read the care guidelines, what you think of the new ones for this year, and if it brought up any questions for you. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with everybody. Make sure you are subscribed and have notifications on, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.